Hey, how's it going? This is PK, Pastor Kevin, coming at you on Monday, September 20th, 2021. Good to have you here watching this video. If you're a subscriber, you're awesome. You're my VIP. There is hope for you. There is hope for your loved ones. There is hope for those that you know, your friends, your coworkers who are suffering with a diagnosis or any kind of medical condition. At my church, a man in his 60s, actually scratch that, 70s, went through treatments to get through brain cancer, and he finally got through, and he was told in the PET scans, no sign of cancer, all good. A few weeks later, he was diagnosed with bone cancer. He had just gotten over an episode of brain cancer, and he was told now that he had bone cancer all throughout his body. How discouraging. A man in his 70s with his wife could have easily given up. His sister-in-law passed away with the same brain cancer that he had, but he kept on. He went to the doctor. He did his treatments. He had treatments and prayer. It wasn't just prayer. It was going in for his treatments. He went in a year later. Last week, he told me his PET scan showed no trace of cancer anywhere in his body. His doctor said for the first time in over a year after his diagnosis, he was told in remission, in remission. He credits, obviously, the doctor, his treatments, but also the prayers and the support of his church family. I'm telling you right now, no matter what you're facing, no matter what your uncle or your, or your aunt or your mom or dad are facing, there is hope for them right now. Tell them not to give up. It's time for you to get up and move forward and do what you have to do to get your blessing, to get your healing. In John chapter 5, Jesus came across a man who was laying beside a pool called Bethesda. It was rumored, alleged, that an angel would come and move the waters. And if you got in at that time, you could be healed. Well, the man was disabled. He couldn't get in. He, he couldn't get up. So Jesus goes to him and asks him, do you want to get well? Sounds like a dumb question, right? But the man's answer was worse. The man simply said, sir, I have nobody to help me. When the waters are stirred, somebody else goes in before me. I have nobody to help me to get in the pool. Well, that's not what Christ asked. He didn't ask him, why wasn't he healed? Our Lord asked him, do you want to get well? Meaning, don't tell me about why you're not healed up until now. The man was making uh, explanations or excuses as to why he wasn't healed. But Jesus is not looking to you and saying, why aren't you well? What's wrong with you? He did not ask this man in John chapter 5, why aren't you healed? Why haven't you gone into the pool yet and gotten your miracle? That's not what Jesus asked. Jesus asked him, do you want to get well? As in, from now on from here on out. So when the man said, sir, I have nobody to help me get in the water when the waters are stirred, Jesus ignored that. And Jesus told the man, get up, take up your bed mat and walk. Now the man could have said, well, I can't walk, but the man began to get up. And when he got up, he realized he was healed. The power of God was right there with Jesus. The power of God was surrounding Jesus the whole time. So when Jesus went to the man, the power of God was there to heal him. All the man had to do was act upon it, do something to get up. So Jesus told the man, get up, take up your bed mat and walk. And that's when he got healed. So it's not always that instantaneous, but if you will get up and not take up your bed mat, but take up your faith, take up your hope and your courage, if you will walk, if you will move forward in your life, if you will pray, ask, seek, and knock, and do what you have to do to be healed and obey God, there is hope for you. 
You can overcome every problem in your life. You can overcome diseases and even cancer. Somebody else in my church told us that their daughter, their daughter who's about my age, about 40s, 50s, has been through rounds of treatments and was told that the PET scan shows no trace of disease, no trace of cancer. That's two awesome testimonies in my church in one week. It didn't come only from prayer. You notice in John chapter 5, if you read the story, Jesus didn't just pray for the man. And he didn't tell the man to pray for himself. Jesus told the man to do something. You got to do something. You got to get up. Take up your faith. Not your bed mat. Your faith. And move forward. And walk. Walk in faith. Walk in obedience. You can have your victory. You can overcome your problems. There's nothing wrong with you. You can do it. If you're a believer, you have the very same risen Jesus with you that this man had with him in John chapter 5. So get up. Take up your faith. Take up your, your courage, your heart, your soul, your life, and walk forward. You can do it. You can do all things through Christ who does what? Gives you strength. So there is hope for you. There is hope for your loved ones. Thank you for watching. If you're blessed by this message, please subscribe and like the video. Have an awesome day and go with God.